spring of 2008, the Seabird was set up to go down to dry dock for uh, cleaning up the hull and getting U.S. Coast Guard certification for, for taking her out to the ocean. So, um, after talking with the Marine Group down in southern San Diego, uh, they had a crane that I believe is the largest crane or one of the largest cranes in uh, the United States. It's a 600 ton lifting uh, crane for taking ships out of the water and working on them. When the Seabird was originally put together in 1944 by the U.S. Army, the qualifications or specifications, uh, the weight specification is roughly 600 metric tons. One of the interesting things, of course, is that the ship has been retrofitted with uh, refrigeration equipment, fishing gear, containers, so no one really knew the total weight of the ship. The plan that day was to take her down, take her out of the water, and do work on her. She was parked up at um, uh, just north of the, the seaport village in San Diego at what was called the G Street Mole. Bringing the ship down from seaport, uh, instead of running the engines, which you need to have the certification to do, they brought her down with uh, tugboats, and you can see her coming around the point to come into the... <clears throat> into the... Uh, crane. So the Seabird gets into position and you can, you can see her coming right in and at that point there was a, a fair amount of discussion being had about the, the distance of the, the two sets of slings and the, and the center point which um, runs the risk of, uh, with just the two slings, of the ship having a tremendous amount of stress in the middle section. So it was determined that, that the crane would have to be re uh, positioned with a three hoist or a three sling uh, set up instead of the two. So the Seabird had to be backed out with uh, with these tugboats and then the, the crane was brought out to uh, a flat ground area to, to have this work done. We are committed to seeing this project through, but we cannot do it alone. You can help. <laughs>